they put on their dancing shoes. The local favorite, Shane Proctor. Wardrobe malfunction <laughs> in the PBR. <laughs> JB has had his fair share of bumps and bruises this season. Now you get the real debate. Alves off the back of a bowl. Fucked off the two-time world champion. Nothing makes JB Moody happier. That was just textbook. Oh, buck up and hold on tight. Nunez, will it be his ninth career win? It's not meant to be. This is bull ride. Marco did a great job of salvaging that ride. This is his second win of the season. Let's quietly move up those standings. He's going to be a threat. This is the PBR. Tonight's the night you leave all your troubles behind because in here, nobody's sad on a Saturday night. The world looks better in neon lights because nobody's sad on a Saturday night. Fresno, let's party. This is the one and only P. Please welcome the best bull riders in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's say hello and bring out the man from Australia. Please welcome Lachlan Richardson. 
From Brazil, this is Wagner Luciano. Say hello to Brazil's Edivaldo Ferreira. And fellow Brazilian João Ricardo Vieira. Talent from South America, please make welcome Agnaldo Cardoso. From the Lone Star State of Texas, this is Brant Atwood. We look to the man from North Dakota, please welcome Nathan Shopper. Also from Brazil, it's Eduardo Apreciado da Silva. The man from Merritt, Canada, this is Ty Pazabar. Say hey to Santa Fe, Texas, Zach Brown. Time to meet the dancing Australian, Ben Jones. Last year's PBR Rookie of the Year from Brazil, Emilio Rezende. And how about the talent from Canada? This is Heron Roy. From Hamburg, Arkansas, say hey to Chase Outlaw. From Perola, Brazil, this is Fabiano Vieira. From El Dorado, Arkansas, this is Reese Cates. How about Alvin, Texas? Say hello to Douglas Duncan. From Porham, Oklahoma, this is LJ Jenkins. Please welcome the talent from Brazil, Valeron de Oliveira. From Stephenville, Texas, it's Jordan Hupp. We welcome the transplanted Californian from Australia, Brendan Clark. From Paris, Tennessee, say hey to Cody Nance. How about them good old Southern boys from Georgia, Sean Willingham. This is Ray Moore, Missouri's Luke Snyder. From Kenta, Oklahoma, Austin Meyer. He's the 2009 PBR World Champion. It's Cody Lostro. The 2010 PBR Champ of the World, the high flying Brazilian Renato Nunes. He's got a million dollar smile and the 2008 World Champion. How about Calerme Marchi? They are the world's best. It's time to meet the top five bull riders of the PBR. We begin with the man in the five spot is the 2004 PBR World Champ from Decatur, Texas, Mike Lee. He's the number four man in the world from Mooresville, North Carolina. Say hey to J.B. Mooney. Time to meet the number three ranked bull rider in the world that just so happens to be a two-time PBR world champ. Please welcome Silvano Alves. He was last weekend's Built for Tough Series event winner in Tacoma, Washington. He's the number two ranked bull rider in the world. From Brazil, it's Marco Agucci. But the number one man originally hails from Grand Coulee, Washington. Put your hands together for the one and only Shane Proctor. They are no doubt three of the hardest working men in the PBR. Fresno, California, it is time to meet your Dickies durable fighters. We start with the young gun from up north, the talent from Canada. Say hello to the one and only Mr. Jesse Byrne. He is known as the fearless one from Paola, Oklahoma. It's Frank Newsom. He's a PBR fan favorite bullfighter from South Texas, the one and only Shorty Gora. Oh, but there's one more. That's right, folks. He is the exclusive entertainer of the PBR from Montana. Give it up for Flint Rasmussen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this time I'd like to ask if you'd please stand or remove cover for our invocation to be followed by the singing of our national anthem. Let us pray. 
Father, tonight we come to you thankful of the opportunity to be here in a free nation to watch such a, an incredible sport. We ask your hand of guidance be with our cowboys. We ask your hand of guidance be with our livestock as well. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the gifts you've given us. We'd like to say a very special prayer for our service men and women, that they be here at home or even abroad protecting and defending the freedoms we so dearly love as free Americans. We ask these things in forgiveness of our sins. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. And now to sing our national anthem, please welcome country music superstar Daryl Worley. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the
Well, folks, here we go. Listen, I told you a little while ago we we're going to have a Price is Right moment. Well, we're about to turn our television cameras on the CBS Sports Network. We're going to turn them around to you folks here. We want you to make a bunch of noise, and we're going to put you on TV. I'm going to count you in. Here we go, folks. We're going to do this in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Well, folks, glad to have you here, Fresno, California. How we doing on a Saturday night? Well, folks, so once again, here we go. It is the Table Mountain Casino Invitational, stop number 11 on the PBR Built for Tough Series. Want to welcome everybody, of course, that is here watching us live and, of course, at home right now on our PBR Live Event Center. Glad to have you here. I am Clint Atkins and joined to my left every week, Mr. Brandon Bates. Well, Brandon, here we are. Week number 11 is underway. Shane Proctor is still the number one ranked bull rider in the world, but last weekend we saw a fantastic job turned in by a young man from Brazil, Marco Agucci, who picked up his second event win on the season. And right now, Brandon, Marcho, Marco is charging. Yeah, well, you can say it. He's marching in. That's exactly what he's doing. Marco Gucci is a man on fire. Look, right now we're in the stretch. It's just that simple. The guys are beating batter and bruised. You're finally seeing some injuries being to take a place, but the guys in the cream is rising to the top, and it's just that simple. Going to be a great night. Going to be a great weekend here in Fresno. Excited about it. Got a great set of bulls. Uh, it's time to get it started. Well, They're sending him. Right now, Shane Proctor, the number one man, Marco Gucci, Silvano Alves, J.B. Mooney, and Mike Lee make Making a charge. He is your fifth place man in the world. Fresno, California, what do you say? Are you ready to buckle up? Are you ready to ride? Let's go. We are going to hit it right now. Fast and furious. Galeramie Marchi, the man to go. Table Mountain Casino Invitational bringing us back to Fresno. Black Cat, the name of the bull we're dealing with here. Galeramie Marchi finds himself in a position he is not accustomed to. That's being the 13th ranked bull rider in the world. Yeah, you're right, and it has been a rough couple. The first weeks of the season for him took him a little while to kind of get off into things. But I tell you, you look back the last 30, 45 days, Galerme Marchi finding that consistency and now starting to climb. This weekend could very well get in to the top 10. Eighth, ninth, they're all stacked in there pretty close. And Galerme Marchi can make up a lot of ground here this weekend. Black Cat from humps and horns. it right the world champ from 2008 and Brandon very critical in these short weekend situations to get things right in round number one you don't want to go into championship Sunday with a big old goose egg on your back yeah uh, you look you can't you, you can't win the bull riding on in round number one but you can lose it and watch your man go to work and that is not the way he wanted to start obviously three seconds down Galerami Marchi Tough luck on a bull, black cat from humps and horns. The big screen telling the story, Douglas Duncan is the man to go right now. The talent from Alvin, Texas. And he's got the bull underneath him called Super Cool Cat. 
Yeah, I gotta be, I uh, gotta be excited about this one. Humps and horns and sis and stand bucking bulls bringing us this one. This bull's been pitching a shutout this season, but last year when they did ride him, it's gonna get you some numbers that you want. Douglas Duncan fighting through the issues, been dealing with the hips. Something that is not new to him that he's been dealing with for the last couple of years. Yeah, you look at Douglas Duncan, he's got chronic hip problems, what you're referring to, and they cause him a lot of pain. And some bulls bother him more than others. Uh, but Douglas Duncan, a very capable guy, 10th right now in the world standings, was as high as second at some point early in those first few events. He had a really good start in Chicago, a uh, top six finish in New York, top 10 in Winston-Salem. Tailed off a little bit here right. recently. It's time for him to get it back on track. And that is two up and two down quickly. Uh, uh, you can see the hip right there. He's in some pain. He has a, yeah. has a cowboy way of showing it, but he's got the pain. It is there nonetheless. How you doing? Flinto, good to good see, to see, you, see buddy. you, guys. I'd like Flinto. everybody to know, uh, before you say anything, I realize it's only March 16th. Yeah. Right. That technically tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Right. But I had a feeling... I had a feeling Saturday night would be the night to pretend it's St. Right, Patrick's Day. Right, exactly. Yeah. L.J. Jenkins getting ready. Poor him, Oklahoma. He is an alternate this weekend, California kid. The name of the bull, Humps and Horns. This is a bull that he got on in Anaheim, California this year. And this bull bucked him off. L.J. Jenkins trying to battle for a spot. Nice, nice, and uh, you know, after uh, not posting a top 10 finish last week in a Tacoma, came close to winning the Dickies Iron Cowboy in Arlington, Texas at Cowboy Stadium. This is gonna be a big confidence boost for LJ Jenkins, 86 and a quarter points, 86 and a quarter. That's gonna make LJ happy, nicely done. He did his job here in round one. So there's a shot. Let's take a look at our PBR big screen right now. And we're going to take you back to Sacramento, California. Folks, this is Frank Newsom and the bull called Maverick. Now we're going to fast forward to Anaheim. That's the same bull Maverick and Frank Newsom. Look, that was the last time that we've seen that bull. Let me tell you about the legend of this bull. Earlier okay. I was in the locker room with the bullfighters. And this was the topic in the locker room. And the guys talking about, how are you going to prepare for that bull tonight? What are you going to do for that bull tonight? And every one of those guys are keyed up out there. They're all set. They're in position. They know how mean this particular bull is, and they're ready for the battle. I wish we could get the shot of Frank Newsom up there. And I don't know if we can get the screenshot of Frank. Let me call out to the truck and see if we can get them to throw up. But Frank right now focused and tent. This bull's there hooked him twice. He is not a happy guy. Oh, this is Maverick, humps and horns and sis and stands. You saw what happened the last two times. Watch it here, Lachlan Richardson. In trouble. Oh, Frank. Yes, oh. Right in there. Uh, and all, oh, whoop, whoop. it's not over. Oh, not done. I've seen this wreck before. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Oh, watch out. Uh-oh. Yeah. Nah, yeah. hey, 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 hey. Man, I wish he'd just jump He's up about there. To. Oh. He's about to. He's about to. <laughs> I got a plan if he does. You guys make fun of me all the time. Yeah. Oh, I wish a bull jump uh, out of there. Oh. oh, okay. I have a plan. I want to show you my plan. What was it? If a bull jumps up on this stage, you want right. to know my plan? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good for you. LJ Jenkins, still your number one man. Tonight's thrills are made possible by the 2013 Ford F-150 with EcoBoost. Carries on the built Ford tough tradition. You don't have to sacrifice power for fuel efficiency with EcoBoost.
happened. The one time you wore it. Oh! God, that never gets old. <laughs> I've seen that video three thousand. That's how it's supposed yeah, to go. See, that's what happens when you wear America's okay. Away colors. Listen, if you see anything like that starting to happen, you're fired. I, but tonight, it's not going to happen tonight. You know why? Because I'm magically delicious. Well, I want to. You know what the problem is? Cooper made me this and did not make it a four-leaf clover. It should be a four-leafer. Just saying. I'm not saying. Right. I'm just, I'm just saying. saying. You do look, let me, you did. did. He looks leprechaunish. By the way, Excuse that, me. that is, what? That's a little creepy. Oh, wow. Nice. Mm. Nice. Mm. Mm. That's a grown-up. There's a little kid dressed like me over here. That's kind of cute. Big guy dressed like me, a little creepy. I don't know, my good man, but if, have you looked in the mirror lately? Chase <laughs> Outlaw is the man ready to go. Wolf Pup is the bull. Humps and horns. The talent from Hamburg, Arkansas. 24th right now in the points race. Trying to get it. Trying to get it. Oh, oh. 7.1. Gotta have that. Come on, him. man. Oh. Come on, man. You serious? Where'd that guy go? Oh, I broke that out early. Hey, these are for sale tonight, by the way, the green ones. You might want to go get one because I know somebody gets a percentage. Well, so get a green one. What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many of those do they have? Because those are seriously limited. Limited, limited supply tonight. I'll talk about it in a few minutes. But, yeah, okay. has my name on it. Get right. one for the kiddos and for the creepy grown-ups. Jao Ricardo Vieta. Think about it here just for a second. Ain't nothing better than a country girl, I reckon. Been around the world and I've been checking. Better listen close to this red Talking about past time, the bull from Diamond G. We've seen this bull now three times in the Bill Ford Tough Series, and he has not been ridden, including bucking off Valerande Oliveira, Marco Agucci, and Ty Pazabon. You got to think, Jao Ricardo Vieta's got his hands full with this one. Steven Cindy Gilbert bringing the bull to a Cindy. A lovely lady back there pulling the trigger on this bull. When I say pulling the trigger, I'm talking about the uh, the flank rope that is loosely placed around the back of that bull. Whoa. And the bull continues his perfect record. Yes, he does. Quickly, 1.5. Oh, man. On the clock. How many have we ridden tonight? To uh, one so far. Who's next? Um... Should be Jory Marcus. Uh, no. In the Jack Daniels book and shoot. No. But it might not be. I don't think so. Okay. But I don't know. I'll take it's, a look. it's a Brazilian whose name I can't say. Go with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Edivaldo. How about Edivaldo Fajeda? Perfect. There you go. Edivaldo Fajeda, the man to go, the bull. Orange they, juice. Yeah. Huh? Break it down for me, BT. Man, I got nothing. I right, look, this bull's been out one time. They have not ridden him. He bucked off Austin Meyer in Tacoma, Washington. Edivaldo Feta, you're looking at a Brazilian national champion. The guy's got mad skill. He just has not yeah. been able to put it together in the US of A. Yeah, it's been quite an adjustment for him coming to the States with the family. The kid's back in Brazil and just trying to stay focused and being disciplined. He has posted a couple of top tens and still looking for his first win. You can see the uh, bulls. Oh, huh? it's going to get crazy tonight. Whoop. Yeah. Oh, easy. Yeah, yeah. that's one way now he's to gonna do it. Repull. Yeah. Say, girl. Say. Now he's going to repull. Okay. Uh, let me hear that again. Louder oh. this time, please. So, What's that? 
Okay. Things I would like to compare yes. weekend to weekend, what we often go through at our hotels. Usually at our host hotels, what in the last couple of years has been the common thing that is also what are we sharing a hotel with? You'd say it. You're right. Cheerleaders. Oh, every city we go right. to. Oh, it's your competition. Guess where they're all staying? Woo, our hotel. <laughs> Line at the coffee machine. Anyway, this weekend, the Holiday Inn where we're staying, it's going to get crazy. You know why? You know what the convention is? I wrote it down. The California Association of Porcelain Artists. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look out. Going to be a late night. Attention room 421 now showing the beautiful oriental doll display. It's beautiful. It was awesome. They, they ran out of coffee at like 9 in the morning. <laughs> you guys going? I'm going. <laughs> Stop. Someone is here from that convention exactly. that you are massively Whatever. offended. Whatever. Can't swim, so I took a boat. And Evaldo's going to be able to turn this bull into orange juice pretty yeah, soon. exactly. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, too big of a turn right there to the right. Tips him over and quickly. And Evaldo Fajeda, Frank got and Shorty. I got him. Oh, kicked it out of the air. Hard. Did you see that? He yes. Kicked it out of the air right there. He was floating in here, and you just kicked it out of the air. Please jump up there. Jump up there. See, right now, if he jumped up there, he, yes. does, he has nowhere to go. He thinks. Whoa, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's uh -huh. going to happen. It's going to happen. Come on. Don't fail me. Don't fail me, Julian. <laughs> Ring around Julia. the rosy. Nice. Nice. Oh. oh, come on, son. Come on. You know it's the. Ah. <laughs> what is it with this uniform? I told Look. you before you put it on. We talked about this in the locker room three hours ago. You actually, that is true. And you went with it anyway. Uh, nice work, Julio. Nice work. Some tense moments for the clown. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> you got to dive for that. Got to put a little more effort into it, Flinto. We need a ride here. We've ridden All one. Right. Well, let's see if we can't get I'll it. I'll get this going right here. Jory Marcus. Jory. Longmont, Colorado. Jory, let's go. Let's go. He gave me this. <laughs> Jory Marcus, the man to go, Longmont, Colorado. Whooping ride, Jory Marcus. Warbird from Diamond G. Tagged him. Whoa. He doesn't even care. No. He doesn't even care. Watch. Look at him. Watch the replay back uh, right uh, here. Oh. Go. Go. I don't mm. care what you say. That hurts. That does. No doubt. So, Jory Marcus, he's okay. LJ Jenkins, still your leader. Couldn't do this without our partners, LiftMaster, rugged gate operators, and garage door openers that are built to last. Lincoln Electric. 39 men here to decide our world championship. Bushwhacker and Asteroid have battled throughout the season. We expect no different here. Agushi takes the legendary Bushwhacker to 6.36. A quick buck off for Asteroid. You're talking about some major G-force. Bushwhacker and Asteroid tied at 46 and three quarters. <laughs> this is not something that Austin wanted or needed was a bull that would act up in the shoots. <laughs> I'm trying, Cody. Make it pay for it. Make it pay.
pay for it right here. That is cowboying up. I am the very toughest guy here. That's Austin Meyer. The world finals do matter. Palermo proving you don't need knees to ride the bull, but you do need them to walk away. No score is the official ruling for Mooney. To say this could be a game changer for J.B. Mooney's finals is an understatement. Only 221 points separate our top two in the world. Go time is here now. Through the pain, Valderon says, I will match you jump for jump. See your power and raise it. Just like most predicted, Alves gets the score. We have just seen a second astronomical ride from Shivers. That's the 94th 90 plus point ride of his career. No one is better. It's going to be a long time before we see another Chris Shivers. They are all standing in the Thomas and Max Center. A tribute to the man who has given this sport everything, but has also given us all so much. It's going to be a long time before we ever see another rider like him. I've watched these, both of these Bulls bucks so many times, and I can't make up my mind which one's better. The ride, as expected, ends before eight. 46 and a quarter, and that is considered a low score. So if Asteroid scores 46.5 or better, he wins this year's world champion bucking bull title. We're waiting for the scores to come in, and it's just what he needed. 46 and a half points. Asteroid is the 2012 world champion bucking bull. Palermo lands on his feet, and they are on their feet in the Thomas and Mack Center. No question who the best bull rider in Las Vegas was. Robson Palermo knows Vegas. This is Valderon. He needs to ride or his season is over. The buck off happens. Valderon will finish 11th overall in the event. It's almost a relief just for it to be over, no matter the outcome. Alves banks another one. They are celebrating together. Alves has gone back to back. History has been made. Silvano Alves, your 2012 PBR World Champion. Well, folks, back into it. Jack Daniels Buck and Shoot is where we will pick things up right now with the 2009 PBR World Champion from Longmont, Colorado, Cody Lostro. Getting ready to go. And the Jack Daniels Buck and Shoot, this is Hell Pony from JD Nix and Sean Davis. Well, LJ Jenkins still on top, the lone man with the score on here, and Cody Lostro with an opportunity to uh, get a little bit of revenge, Brandon, on a bull that bucked him off last year. Yeah, you look at the rematch, Anaheim, California bull bucked him off there. Let's. Yeah. What do you think about Cody Lostro? That's pretty solid. That is a solid ride. That is a pretty legit bull ride any way that you look at it. You watch this bull nice. really bucks. He hits and fires on all centers. Clint, what they do to him on the leaderboard? How about 88 and a half points? 88 and a half, our Yeti Cooler score tonight, and he will take over the number one position. The world champion, Cody Lostro, takes the lead in round one of the Table Mountain Casino Invitational. There he is, a look at Cody Lostro. We now go to Reese Cates, El Dorado, Arkansas. Tarantula, the name of this bull. Oh, yeah! 
They round one. It turns into a contagious situation, and then here we go, step by step. Yeah. Look out, son. Say, girl. <laughs> Say, girl. Here it comes. Three for three. Bam. Oh, hey. Kick it out of there. You know what he said? Don't hit me there with your hat. Never mind. Thank you. <laughs> 84 and a quarter points. 84 and a quarter. The numbers for Reese Cates and... Uh, Boy, it'd be nice to see him get another top 10 finish, maybe a win this weekend after uh, last weekend posting a top 10 finish. So Reese Cates, nice way to kick the weekend off. Let's go to the Jack Daniels shoot. Yeah, we're going to go over right now and take you down. Wagner Luciano making his season debut in the Billboard Tough Series, 33 years of age, 33 years old. Wagner Luciano getting ready to go. To put that into comparison, I'm 33 years old. And Are there's, you? Yeah, and there's no way. I mean, this guy, you talk about an athlete stepping in at 33. I'm a Panda 2, J.D. Nix, and Wagner Luciano coming up from the Southland. If he's 33, I feel 103. <laughs> Whoop. What do you do? That bull. That bull was tough wow. to twist. Tough to twist for your man right there. All right. So taking it in and looking at it. Yeah, I got a I got a special guest up here with me right now. I want everybody, everybody here, I know probably knows this man pretty well. Put him on the big screen. You recognize that smile and face. He's he's all he's not beating batter and bruised right now. Chad Mendez, everybody, top-ranked UFC fighter in the uh, featherweight division, the 145 class. Uh, I know that you're here with us. You're a uh, you're a proud member of Team Weatherby, and uh, you got the the Rider Relief Fund. Uh, man, this has become a big favorite sport of yours, hasn't it, Chad? Yeah, it has. It has, man. This is something that uh, you know I've loved to do and watch since I was young. You know, um, you know these guys are crazy getting on these bulls, but they say the same thing about us getting an octagon fighting another guy. So. Um, you know, it's actually something that I'd like to do, maybe get on a bull. I know my buddy Brendan Clark, uh, he's about to tear it up tonight, but, uh, you know, he's talked about trying to teach me some stuff, so pretty pumped. Now, I've interviewed a lot of athletes up here, a lot of stars, a lot of people like that on the stage, and I always ask them the same thing, like, can we get you on the back of a bull? And you're saying that you would willingly jump out there and go for it. Yeah, man, maybe a trainer bull or something. I don't know about any of these guys, but maybe throw some training wheels on it and I'll, I'm good to go. <laughs> All right, well, we're glad to have you here with us tonight. Sacramento, California is where the man calls home. Chad Mendez, glad to have him stop by the PBR. Big round of applause. Good luck in your next fight. And uh, our man, thank you so much for being here with us. Yeah, thank you, Brandon. Chad, glad to have you here. Of course, the good folks at Table Mountain Casino presents Jules' Greatest Hits Tour. On 2003, Tacoma, Washington. One of the most charismatic bull riders the world has ever seen took his first jump out of the chute at a PBR event. The ride didn't go exactly as planned, but he got up, dusted himself off, and took his next ride the full eight. That, in essence, has been the story of the Australian sensation, Brendan Clark. He's known victory, he's known defeat, and he keeps coming back for more. Brendan Clark is more than just one of the greatest Australian riders the PBR has ever known. Having participated in eight of the last nine world finals, never having finished less than 42nd in the world, with two top 10 finishes and a career total earnings just shy of $1 million. He's also one of the leading ambassadors for the sport. His appearances in television broadcasts from 60 Minutes to documentaries such as Beyond the Bull, being part of the PBR's own built Ford Tough Invasion team, and his fondness for social media has earned him one of the most loyal fan followings in PBR history. He is truly a national treasure.
I right? Limited supply. Get them. Get them at intermission. Whatever. There you go. Wow. That's my. Man, it's like a little short lamps, fuse. Billy yeah. Mays. Bam. Well, I mean, what are you going to. Bam. You going to sell a juicer next or what? You never know. It's like I'm going to see him hawking the George Foreman grill here ah. later. <laughs> it can grill your chicken. It? That's funny. Blow my whistle, baby. Yeah. Can you blow my whistle? Well, let me tell you about a man right now that needs a bull ride like the desert needs rain. That's Valderon de Oliveira because this cat is on a drought. John Wayne, the name of the bull, J.T. Nix, bringing the bull to us. I talked to him today. I said, hey, I looked at him. I was like, dude, it's time. Like, you got to put it together. He said, I know. I'm good. I'm ready. So, Well, let me, let me ask you this. Okay. I mean, you know, he... Went to Brazil, had surgery on his back. I mean, you think that's affecting him, and we don't know about it? Well, he's been rusty. Since rusty. He, he's been rusty since he's come back, but I've seen him buck off a couple of bulls, and I thought he was in perfect position on the past couple of weeks. You were there. You saw it, too. Right. I mean, so that tells me that there's a little bit of a mental issue right now. Listen, I like this matchup right here. He ought to ride this bull. This is John Wayne from J.D. Nix. Got his chin up. Out of position, and he does not ride that bull. Let me tell you something. The last five years, nine times out of ten, Valderon rides that bull. Yeah, I mean, you see him right here. Head gets up right out of the gate. His chin's up, and that's a problem. And you can see because then he just can't focus on getting the weight back down on his legs. Once you get raised up on these bulls like that, it's very difficult to get that back. And he's raised up, and the bull rolls him into his hand. And it is it is dire straits. He's in bad shape. Bad shape. Stepping up right now, moving over to the built Ford Tough Ford truck shoe. We're gonna go. The man was born and raised in Australia, transplanted to the great state of California. That would be Brendan Clark, the man from Morpeth, New South Wales. Panda Tracks, the name of the bull from J.D. Nix. All time in the Touring Pro Division, the Bill Ford Tough Series, this bull's pitching the no-hitter. He is 12-0, and, and on the Bill Ford Tough Series, 2-0. and No one is yet to conquer this bull. Can we change it right here? Brendan Clark's able to get past this one. He will be happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Thank you, Cy. <laughs> I can go all night. Clark, Clark, California, Clark, where Clark. are you? <laughs> Kidding me! Whoa. Oh, Frank Newsom, Shorty Gorham, Jesse Byrne, you need to challenge this one, I think. <laughs> wow. Brandon, let's go back, take a look at this right here, and our officials right there, right uh, really close. Brendan Clark thinks that he may had some part of that bull rope, uh, that tail of that rope in his hand at eight seconds what well, say you th there's the ruling i, I can't say uh, they're going to take a look at it but here's the deal if he had any part of that bull rope in his hand at the eight seconds now he could be flying through the air with the tail of that bull rope in his hand one strand one finger and he Ow. would get there to the eight his, but his you, foot is touching the bull that does not that doesn't count. count yeah and it is a no, no score, score for brennan clark He's getting interviewed, though. He's going to swear in Australian. <laughs> He's not. not right. He's not either. That's it is cable. Right. Wow. <laughs> you just you're, said you're, that. You uh, just said that. I know. He's going to swear in Australian. Uh, California does funny things to me. Wherever right. we go in California, go to Sacramento, crazy. Anaheim, woo, laid back. Fresno, kind of in between, little of both. Yeah. So, one of those good old boys 
from Somerville, Georgia, Sean Willingham. Teeing it up in the Jack Daniels shoot with Pretty Boy Floyd. From J.D. Nix, bringing us these bulls out of, these last bulls out of Texas. Sean Willingham, let's go. I spin, spin, in my, I spin, spin, in my, I spin, spin, I ride around, no gimme, it's my, I spin, spin, it's my, I spin, spin, it's my, I spin, It's a funny thing when this guy, look, his M.O. and the problems that he's had has been controlling that free arm. And when he keeps his free arm like he does right here, picture perfect. He never lets it really get behind him. You see how it doesn't break the plane of his body? Therefore, his hips don't cross out. He doesn't get blown out the back door like he normally does. He rides this bull. He does it in great form. 85 and a quarter points for Sean Willingham. Nicely done. Well, we say congratulations to our Jack Daniels high mark ride. So far, it goes to Cody Lostro, 88 and a half points. Congratulations to you, Cody, from our friends at Jack Daniels. Hey, this heart-stopping action is brought to you by Wrangler, Long Live Cowboys, Yeti Coolers, Wildly Stronger, Keep Ice Longer, Ariat, the official boot of the PB. Oh, that's the one. I can't hear. Yeah, uh, see, you got to work a lot harder than him. Oh, what the? Whoa, whoa. Where is that boy's mom at? I got where is that boy's mom? Where is that boy's mom at? Uh, can I get a camera? I can't get a camera on him, can I? Son. Where's your, where one's your mom? Where is your? You must be very proud. You. Did you see the? Stop it. Oh, you better take. Listen, tell kid. you what, if you come down to Miles where we're from, we're, you know, hey, hey, hey kid, <laughs> hey, let me let me give you a little tip. Dress like this, keep doing that, Bobby. and they will pay you someday. <laughs> Fabiano Vieta ready to go. Prater's Pride, JD Nix. Oh. Wow, 5.14 seconds. And Fabiano Vieta, Brandon, uh, down 
quickly. You see our Paps Blue Ribbon Bull score. Speaking of Paps Blue Ribbon, got our party bar going on hey. back here, courtesy of Paps Blue Ribbon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I know. Up. I remember my first beer too, ladies. They did. Yeah, I know. I got you. Four. four. Oh, four. Oh, I, got I you. remember when I used to keep count. <laughs> 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 Ryan Dirt Eater, <laughs> Holbert, Oklahoma, getting ready. I'm glad he made it. Yeah, he I was know. he was delayed. He got he got hung up. I didn't think he was gonna make it. Got here, Ryan Dirt Eater, Holbert, Oklahoma, Lieutenant, the name of the bull from Nacarado Bucking Bulls. Bull making his debut tonight. Interestingly enough, on a stat on Ryan Dirty, do you uh -huh. know his favorite subject in school? You didn't see this coming. Algebra. I was like, peace. Look out! Ryan Dirt Eater lighting him up on the lieutenant. The number's coming in. That is the ugliest bull in the world. That is the ugliest bull. You are the ugliest bull in the world. Wait, California, is there a law against insulting an animal like that? Probably. I was really, if you think there, if you think you were about to break the law, I was really fixing <laughs> to jump out there. Because I guarantee you'd make a really nice rug. He did. <laughs> you, you G L Y. You ain't got no alibi. You're ugly. Mm -mm. And your mama's a cow. What? What? Eight, eight, That's eight, so old. Eight. <laughs> okay, you, be gone, ugly one. You got oh. Ooh. I, I really thought you were about Air to. Loop. Hey, I really thought you were about to bring. I thought you were about to bust out the. Bring it on down to Omeletville. <laughs> Bring it on down to Uglyville. <laughs> hey, hey, do it. Oh, oh now yeah. what? Here we go again. I Here we go that. again. Yeah. All right, Bull, you go right. Julio, you go left. This is not going to work out well for you, Flint. You go. How you like those seats now? <laughs> oh, yeah. I do not think he wants to go in there. He just mean. He obviously does not know there's some nice looking heifers waiting out back. Heifers in the night. Okay, do it, Bob. Just do it. I don't it. want to. They okay. Just do it. To the Macarena. Go ahead. Well, and tipping it up, Paris, Tennessee. <laughs> Where are we going to go? T T. The man makes his home in Tennessee. It's Cody Nance. <laughs> the bull, he's a mean one. They call him the Gator. Nakarado Bucking Bulls. Jack Daniel shoot. Come on, son. Pour me one. Open the gate. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. There is probably an air traffic controller at the <laughs> airport. <laughs> That's too That was good, Brandon. That Thank was some you. of your better work right there. Uh, Thank well, you. We're going to have to make a greatest hit CD. Yeah, you know? that mean, was good. That have was to good. Do. Speaking of being good. <laughs> We're going to a commercial on tonight's Pure PBR, which I believe you can watch when you get home. I think it's delayed a couple right. hours right. Um, on CBS Sports Network. But it's tradition here. I'm not going to waste any time. I don't mess around. California, it's tradition on Saturday night. In case we don't hit everybody as the night goes, Mark and I like to take this three-minute commercial and make sure everybody is satisfied and hears everything they want to hear. Mark, let's do it now.
Gangnam Style idea. Look who came down. Who came down? I got a minute. No, no, I got a minute. Okay, dude. Dude, I'm coming up. Hold on. Hold on. We got to hurry. Got to hurry. Got to hurry. Got to hurry. Okay, everybody, you hopefully you saw this on YouTube. You're our leader. Everybody sit till it's time. Okay, ready? Mark, you start it. No, it's you. Get up. That guy. That guy. Get him. Oh, there he is. Wait, hold on. Before this guy goes. How stupid do you feel just sitting there? <laughs> Cool, uh, folks, how about Flint Rasmussen, everybody? He's magically delicious. I don't know. Not the Lucky Charms commercial. Yeah, it just sounds weird when it you does. say it. It does. I know. All right. Austin Meyer, Kenta, Oklahoma. Oh, boy. The big win a couple of weeks ago at Cowboys Stadium. 52,000. In the bank from one night. Durango. Whoa, quickly make short work of Austin Meyer flying you and Cindy Rosser bucking bulls. Hey, guys. Yes. It's Andrew from Anaheim. Remember he was fan of the night. Oh, hey. yeah. Remember he got kicked out of his seats and yes. had to go, yeah. About to happen right. again. <laughs> Look who's exactly. kicking him out of his seats this time. I know, look when you dress like that. Look what happens. Austin Meyer down on the ball D. Sounds weird to say D Rango. Here's an interesting one for you. Nathan Shopper coming back in the mix right now as we take a look at him. Yeah, I've been sitting on the sidelines yeah. with a groin injury. Told me today at lunch he was tired of that. All right. Here we go. Oh! 
As you said, got tagged. Like hit in the face either. No. That's wearing that helmet right there, looking back uh, on the back of the chutes. I believe he's talking to Aaron Roy. Oh, man, he got popped. He got popped. Yeah. They did a bad, bad thing. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so Nathan Chopper. No score. So the Jack Daniels bucket shoot is where we're going to, and... Zach Brown, Santa Fe, Texas. Man's been uh, lived in Hawaii, lived the uh, majority of his upbringing right here in California, down in Orange County. Zach Brown living in Santa Fe, Texas. Right now, Ransom, Cindy Rosser, and Flying C Livestock. <laughs> Rewrite flags are out, Brandon. Yeah, that bull gave him about eight chances. You watch him get in trouble, the bull kind of gets back underneath him, and he just hung in there, and good for him. He kept trying. Yeah. Well, the bull was a friend of his right and there. Good news is there are some great bulls in the in the re-ride pen, yep. and uh, this is uh, going to be a no-brainer. He will receive a score. We're going to call it out, and uh, with the option for a re-ride just to make everything official right now, 65 and a half with the option, I do believe, we're, uh, we, we will see 65 and a half with an option for a re-ride. And we'll see what he is going to do. So, Cody Lostro, still your number one man, 88 and a half points. Tonight's dose of adrenaline. Here's this week's athlete profile brought to you by Cooper Tires. And it's just what he needed. 46 and a half points. Asteroid is the 2012 world champion bucking bull. Asteroid winning the bull of the year is everybody in the bull business is gold. So that that's that's the top of the line. That that's it. That's what you strive for. Asteroid's personality is he he always wants attention. You know he, he he's very, very gentle. You can pet him, rub him. He comes to you. Uh, those those personality traits in a bull are you know are, are pretty rare. You know when he sees you coming, he, he's coming up there most of the time. Those are the bulls that make you proud. You know those those are the special animals. The greatest one that we've seen so far is Little Yellow Jacket. He's the only three-time world champion bull. Can Michael Gaffney do it? Oh, he's got a seat to the right. I only got on Little Yellow Jacket one time. Um, I was the first guy that I know of to ride him in the PBR. I had him at the PBR finals in 1999, and I remember when I got off of him that year, I, I was, as I was walking out of the arena, I walked past Cody, and I said, that, right, I said, that little bull right there is the real deal. I said, that was, that was 10 times more than a handful. This week's athlete profile brought to you by Cooper Tires. Bushwhacker looks like he's coming back as good as ever, and that bull just keeps not only getting athletically more and more talented, but he's getting smarter as time goes, too. J.B. Mooney versus Bushwhacker. Ever so close! <laughs> Mooney is your iron cowboy! Well, I'm going to give uh, my hometown crowd what they came to see. We're going to try Bushwhacker. Luke Snyder just felt the brunt of Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker, folks, 32 in a row. J.B. Mooney has a new tattoo. Compliments of Bushwhacker. That's why you buy a ticket. Agushi takes the legendary Bushwhacker to 6.36, and I can't make up my mind which one's better. The ride, as expected, ends before eight. 46 and a quarter, and that is considered a low score. Yeah, right? <laughs> They're good. By the way, Clint went. Brandon, you missed it. It was nice to go out to the Clovis Rodeo Grounds with all the fellas today. 
at, for the big Central California Blood Drive kickoff. All the ladies, like 400 ladies. Right. Some young, some middle, some cougars. And, it, it, and you were there. I was right in the middle. I imagine that. It was awesome. Anyway, that's a great deal. I just wanted to say it was gotcha. great. And uh, actually, the Clovis Rodeo next month has a touring pro division PBR. Thursday, the whatever, uh, Thursday <laughs> of the Clovis Rodeo. Right. Guess who's going? Who? This guy. You are. Yep. <sighs> so you'll be back soon. Because Clovis, as we know, that last weekend of April, opening season of halter top season. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm good. Thank Do you. Do you have your halter top license? <laughs> <laughs> Out of state permit. <laughs> Got it. All wow. right. Let's do this. Ben Jones working it out. Talking about the kid that likes to shake his feet. Oh, now. Got a little boom in my Attitude truck. adjustment. Gonna open up the doors and turn it up. Gonna stomp my boots in the Georgia mud. Gonna watch you make me fall. Ben Jones on attitude adjustment. MGS Bucking Bulls. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. Seven point four seven up yep. on the clock. Not what you want to see. Hey, psh, country girl, shake it for me. Come on, come on. <laughs> you just can't. Okay, I'm having fun. Frankly, I could stand it if a few bull riders rode their bulls, but I'm having hey, fun. Hey, yeah. Who's I next? Guess. I'll get them going. Hey, uh, we can race on. We can suit you up anytime. Yeah. We can get just, a bull rope. I we mean, can get you lined out. Why are you running like that? Cause I'm old. That's the one. No, that's not because that that doesn't have anything to do with being old. <laughs> that's old. Exactly. Check your heart. Check it. Check. There you go. What's your resting heart rate? <laughs> 21. 21. <laughs> Brand Atwood, Decatur, Texas. That's what you're looking at on the big screen. Broke his jaw last week. Yes, Surgery. He did. Coming back. How are we gonna do here? Stroke it. The name of the bull. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Watch. Shorty, Shorty you okay? <laughs> Watch this replay back, Rebecca Shoemaker and 5S Ranch of McManus. Wow. And, well, that bull hit on all cylinders. Brant <laughs> loosened up, shook out of there, but did have one go to work. Shorty, are you all right? Things happened pretty fast there when you fell, about this fast. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> He's going to get beat up. He's going to get. He said it happened a lot slower than my life is going to end if I keep talking. Exactly. <laughs> Let's we'll step up right now go to Emilio Resende, graffiti. The name of the bull that we're looking at right now, Jerry Brown Bucking Bulls. Yes, yes, yes! Oh! How about Emilio Resende? Working the numbers coming in. How about 86 and a quarter points? 86 and a quarter. And Brandon, that'll uh, put him tied for second and third right now with LJ Jenkins. Nicely done for last year's uh, PBR Rookie of the Year. Emilio Resende on the board. That is the seventh qualified ride so far. Here in this round, Flint oh, do. dominating. Hey, they just told me in my ear, yeah. they're going to a quick commercial. Right. They said, Flint, Flint, going to a commercial. So we do this in California a lot too because we have found, although other 
other uh, crowds in the country are good. People in California really have great pitch. And we like to test them wherever we go. Mark, let's do this thing right here. Hi. Come with. Come with. Just a small town girl. Boy. She took a midnight train going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Just a city boy. He took the midnight train going. Let's do something new. Do something new. Oh, we're halfway there. And we're making our swear. We lost. That was not bad. Oh, there we go. Touching you, sweet Caroline. Good times never seem so good. I've been inclined. <laughs> it doesn't matter what song you play. Most people are singing it, and then there's those people going, oh, what the hell's everybody doing? What are they doing? What, who's this? <laughs> Sweet, well, what? Bon Jovi, man. Tommy used to work on the job. Oh! <laughs> Look at them all, they're just watching. You bull riders, watch and learn. Guitar. I'm gonna break it down right here. You ready? It's all the same. Oh, only the names will change every day. It seems we're wasting away another place. Oh, where the faces are so cold. Drive all night. Just to get back home Cause I'm a clown boy On a steel cage I had Wanted Dead or alive Wanted Dead or alive Oh, you gotta give him a little bit of love Yeah. Breaking it down. Here we go. I'm We're ready. having a good time on a Saturday night, Fresno. Well, breaking it down inside the Las Vegas bucking shoot, you are looking. And what is happening right now inside that shoot with Renato Nunes, the 2010 world champ. Speaking of that year, Fresno, California, also one of the first stops that he won that season. Old dude just did a cartwheel. He did. He dude. did. Dude just did a cartwheel. Ah. The dude also shaves his legs. The dude. The That's dude. his new nickname. The dude. The dude. We're only calling you the dude from here on out. Exactly. Tomorrow night, I'm going to introduce you as the dude. He's act like he acts like he doesn't hear us. No, he, he, he hears us. He hears us. Oh yeah, he's ignoring us. So, dude. Oh, One Direction. Yeah. You're insecure. Yo, Craigslist. Know what for. You're turning heads when you walk through the door. <laughs> Don't need makeup to cover 
I like it. Ready? Come on. Got him. Oh, no, you don't. Got him looking. <laughs> Play You're that. just getting me. Play that. <sighs> Give it to him one time. Dude. What? Do what? The dude. That's, did you not hear us? The dude. That's you what, it's, that's what we're going to call you name. from here on out. That's oh, it. That's You're me? The dude. Yep, yeah. The dude or Craig. Right. Or what? Craig. Sh Craig? Yeah. yeah. What's Craig? Short for. <laughs> Tell you later. Yeah. Craigslist. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the Las Vegas shoot. I was ready to bust it to One Direction. <laughs> that, ni that Nile is dreamy. Guaranteed you're on Craigslist. I know hey, you are. My little girl who's 11. Yeah. You, Brandon knows this for a fact. How many people in this world does she hate? All of them. All of them. <laughs> Except five. All the members of One Direction. Is like, there five of them? Yeah, I don't I think know. so. I mean, oh who my knows? Gosh, I have me. never listened to an entire One Direction song in my well, life. Well, let me tell you, if you don't know One Direction, let me give you just one fact about One Direction. None of them, none of them have this. It's a good point. <sighs> or this. <laughs> right. What is that? That's... A little something going on right there. That's what a real it? man. That's from eating the crust on your bread. <laughs> I've never. <laughs> all right, Bob. I've never heard well, that. Well, whatever. I don't know where that and, came from. And? And? and okay, I'm, right, I'm delirious. Enough. Let's go. Who's all next? All right, well, we're going to move things up to the Built Ford Tough Ford truck shoot. Go to Marco Agucci. This was last weekend, folks. Look at the big screen. That was the championship round. Marco Aguchi picking up the win in Tacoma. There is uh, the celebration. Marco Aguchi, young talent, Brazil. Brandon, he's coming on and coming on strong. The, the guy's got as much talent as anybody you're going to see. I mean, just his physical balance ability. He knows where he's at at all times on the back of a boy. He knows how to make adjustments like very few guys can make. I mean, he is, you know, just so far it's like you're watching a guy really mature you know last right. year you knew he was good the year before that in brazil you knew he was good but like that just like that that's just just stud just absolutely stud kind of stuff yeah, I'll watch this replay out right here. And wow. Bo decided, you know what, I'm going to go to the left. No, nope, I don't like that. I'm going to go back to the right. This was not an issue for Marco Aguchi, and that is why he's ranked number two in the world right now. And, Brandon, he is hot on the heels. I mean, he is a freight train coming down the track. If you're Shane Proctor right now, you're looking over the shoulder. This obviously one of the guys that you're keeping your eye on. Yeah. We are still awaiting the, score. the scores. That is the bull that Renato, Renato was had. on. Had. Yeah, not the guy you see walking on the big screen right there that you right. want in your rearview mirror because right. he is bringing heat. Well, we are going to uh, get the scores to you, get you updated on uh, Renato Nunes. But, uh, hey, right now, Cody Lostro, before we get this score, and I do believe it's going to be 85 and three-quarter points for Marco, 85 and three-quarters. Cody Lostro is your number one man here in Fresno. Exciting PBR action will be back in just a few moments. The Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation is dedicated to ensuring the future of elk, other wildlife, their habitat, and our hunting heritage. Pabst Blue Ribbon is not just any beer. It's been the original since 1844. Preford, ranch equipment supplier of the PBR. Check them out at preford.com. Stanley, wherever you go, whatever you do, make something great. Well, folks, want to go up to the big screen right now, get you set up for the Build Ford Tough Clash of the Cowboys. Hey, everyone. 
welcome to the Built for Tough Clash of the Cowboys. I'm Andrea Fetchko and these guys here are your cowboys and this 23,000 acre ranch is their arena. They're building teams to go head to head to determine who's truly built Ford tough. And that would be us. We're going down, Shorty. This is how the teams have worked out. Luke Snyder is team captain of the Outlaws with Jesse Byrne, LJ Jenkins, and Harv Stewart. And Shorty Gorham is captain of the Bandits with Brendan Clark, Robson Palermo, and Cody Lostro. Next, the Bandits and the Outlaws square off in ways you never thought Cowboys would. Come on, boys, you guys ride bulls. You can do this. This is just a mud pit. In the end, we'll see which team has more wins under their hat. You boys ready? I'll take that silence as a yes. Seriously, this is going to be a lot of fun. Visit us at clashofthecowboys.com to see what we're up to. You can even enter to win a chance to see us clash at the Built Ford Tough World Finals in Vegas. You might even wrangle your own beast, a brand new Ford F-150 with EcoBoost. Good luck to you, Shorty. Look behind me, Luke. We don't need luck. Well, just like Shorty Gorham, Luke Snyder, we're talking about. Log on right now. It is the Clash of the Cowboys. Dot com where three lucky finalists will win a VIP trip to the 2013 Built for Tough World Finals in Las Vegas. And of course, one lucky fan will win a brand new Ford F-150 with EcoBoost. And of course, you get the ultimate combination, fuel economy without sacrificing capability. Make sure that you follow the Clash of the Cowboys all year long on every PBR television broadcast on CBS and CBS Sports Network. It's so simple and so easy. You can use your web-enabled phone right now and log on to clashofthecowboys.com. Sign up. You could be on your way to Las Vegas, the world final. Somebody's got to win. It might as well be you. All of this is being brought to you by the PBR and Ford Trucks, built for tough. Hey, who wants some free T-shirts from our friends at Jack Daniels? Well, I want to say congratulations to Doug Williams, our Jack Daniels Vest winner. Congratulations to you, Doug, from our friends at Jack Daniels. Let's go up to the big screen for a message from our friends at Dickies. <laughs> Well, it's time to go up top, center stage. Take a look, Bass Pro Shops, big bucks for big bucks. A chance right now to win a $500 gift card from our friends at BPS. Allie and Maria up there right now. Allie, Maria, I'm sure you've already been prepped with the rules, but I'm going to tell everybody here watching you, when I say go, you got to put on that camouflage as fast as you can. There is a bow and arrow, a nerf bow and arrow. At your feet, you have three shots each to hit that 3D target at the far end. The first one to do so on the fly gets $500 from our friends at Bass Pro Shops. You ready? On your marks, get set, go. Pretty even right now. Dialing it in, $500, Bass Pro Shops, if you, uh, you can't get right to a store. You can use that guard online. Are they close? No. Oh, that was pretty close. All three, no go. That will grow to $600 tomorrow afternoon. 
Allie Maria, thank you very much for playing along with our friends at Bass Pro Shops. Big bucks for big bucks. Glad to have them on uh, hand with us. And I want to bring your attention up top right now. Let's take a look at the exclusive sneak peek of this week's episode of the Belt Ford Tough Clash of the Cowboys. Last week on Clash of the Cowboys. Yeah. Nice. The Outlaws are on a tear lately, winning the last three events and just one away from tying things up. We'll see if they can keep the streak alive in this week's event, the Drag Race. Here, teams compete in a head-to-head -head race where teammates take turns riding a horse-drawn canvas around the track. The first team to complete all six legs of the race wins. This is known as the cowhide drag. It's a lot of fun when other people are doing it. One of the guys is gonna be horseback the whole entire time, and the other members will rotate out on the cowhide. We're gonna have to race down from one truck to another. That rider gets off, pick up another rider on the way back, and we're just gonna keep doing that until the, the obstacle's finished. Bandits still have a healthy lead. <laughs> you're being dragged across there, your body's just bouncing across the ground, and you're trying to watch for the finish line, but it's pretty tough when you're 15 feet behind a horse throwing dirt in your face. Careful, careful, careful! Oh wow, Shorty is just going fast. Couldn't see much getting dragged the way I did, and my pockets filled up with dirt and filled up both boots. Looks like there was a little bit of trouble with the handoff. Just keep your head down and just grit your teeth and try not to kill each other. There's all kinds of stuff that can happen bad out here. Like anything, when you start playing with animals and people and speed, there's, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Oh, and the collision! Well, if you want to see who's going to win, the Outlaws or the Bandits, go to ClashOfTheCowboys.com. See the exciting conclusion while you're there. Make sure you enter the Clash of the Cowboys sweepstakes on hand for us. Tough, indestructible, and rugged. The same three words used to describe the best bull riders in the world. Also apply to the cat equipment that makes every PBR event possible for the most durable and productive equipment available. Do what the PBR does and choose NC Machinery Caterpillar. Visit the cat booth on the concourse for your chance to win a brand new skid steer trip to the PBR World Finals. Zan Cat Sweatshirts. Now, what if I told you my city was the best and my city was a threat to the rest? My city was a threat to the rest. This city is my city, and I love it. Yeah, I love it. I was born and raised here. I got it made here. And if I have my way, I'm gonna stay. without me that's totally cool man what are you talking about well you know frank and jesse they're your buddies and it's the pbr world finals i mean come on shorty those two guys love you so live your life. Listen to Tooth. 
Whose baby bull is that? Let's check for a brand or something. I looked everywhere. And no one seen Flint. You guys, you guys even sure we're qualified to fight bulls? Guys, the only thing important now is that we find Flint. Here's your car, officers. You're fighting bulls in 15 minutes. That's not gonna be happening. Mike Tyson? This is my favorite part coming up right now. He still got it. Sure does. CBS Sports and CBS Sports Network, your exclusive home for PBR, all season long. Here's this week's athlete profile brought to you by Cooper. Here's this week's athlete profile brought to you by Cooper Tires. How about this kid, guys? I'm Lachlan Richardson. I'm from New South Wales, Australia. Ever since I started junior bull riding, I had dreams to come over here. Guess what? Lachlan Richardson might be here to stay. Before I won the event, I was looking at winning an Australian like, rookie championship for the year. And that one win might have changed it to a world rookie championship. How cool is this kid, Craig? I know. Huh? I mean In the studio, we have got Lachlan Richardson. You could be the president of Australia. I'm not sure if we go that far, but... This kid may be one to watch for. Uh, when they handed me the buckle, I just couldn't stop smiling. I was so happy. Look at that. <laughs> He's just looking around thinking, is it official? In less than two weeks, I come to the US from Australia. And within a week, I'd won my first PBR built for tough buckle. And it feels real good. Two at the Table Mountain Casino Invitational coming out of our intermission break right here. We're going to recap where we are right now in round number one. Your Jack Daniels leaderboard right now, Cody Lostro up on top last year's PBR Rookie of the Year, Emilio Resende tied for second and third with LJ Jenkins. And LJ Jenkins, one of those guys on the outside of the top 30 looking in right now. He needs a big weekend, and he has started things out A-OK -okay for LJ Jenkins. Marco Aguchi, number four in the round. No surprise there. Sean Willingham in fifth in round number one. The Table Mountain Casino Invitational. And Brandon, as we leapfrog into this top 10 right now in this points race, I mean, this is stop number 11, but every bull, every ride, every second, every point is going to count because this season, we don't have a cut line anymore after five events. That's right. The top 30 bull riders week to week will be here on the PBR Built for Tough Series. So very important to obviously get the, the, the most points. Yeah, that's the big deal. And you look at it, you know, making it inside of the top 30 is huge. But if the next group of guys we're going to see, they're clearly set and they're in there. And like, I think we're going to be in for a very strong finish. Tonight, the Bulls have just dominated 
eight qualified rides in there. I yeah. mean, it is just, it's been really tough. And, and that's yeah, typically not so much the case when we're out west. You, you see, you know, there's a lot of good bulls right. out here, but it seems like the guys do better when we are out west, but it's just not the case right now. Well, let's go back here and talk about Zach Brown, 65 and a half with an option for a re-ride. We didn't go back and talk about this. He did not take the re-ride option. Yeah, and he's after the points. That's a big deal for him. He knows right now he's hovering around that number 30 position. He needs the points, and it's a big deal to him. So he's going to try to advance in a lower score, and we'll see how it works out for him. Well, right now, things are happening in the Las Vegas buck and shoot, and that is where we will go. Renato Nunes. So Renato Nunes down, ready to go. Had an opportunity. Could not get out on that bull, so they gave him another one. Here we go. Wow. Talk about cut a flip. Yes, he did, but, Man. you know, Brandon, they, I made the comment a little while ago, these bulls in a re-ride pen, they're, they're, they're bulls that are good enough to win the round. Wow. It is never good when you hear the crowd go, whoa. Air traffic yeah. control? Yeah, I could have used okay. it Okay, I'm sorry. You used it once. <clears throat> right. I'm just an antagonizer. I just, you know, poke, keep going. Just don't Renato. stop. Renato's down early. All right. Bad news for him. Stepping in right now, take a look at Ginaldo Cardoso. Whirly gig two from Diamond G. Yeah. I like this guy. I think he's got some talent. Ignaldo Cardoso, 27 years old. He's won an event, Billboard Tough Series, before that's back in 2007. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, oh no. no. Of those, uh, Ignaldo Cardozo obviously being carted out of the yeah. arena right now. They will transport him, one would assume, to a uh, medical facility right now, taking a very hard shot. You know, it's it's unfortunate, and it's it's something we hate to see in in what is undoubtedly the most dangerous sport in the world. Right. The guys know what they deal with it. It's a uh, Difficult to watch, but yeah. our thoughts and our prayers are with Ignaldo right now. So uh, let's, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's where we're at. And I promise you, as soon as we get an update from Dr. Tandy Freeman, we will bring that to you immediately. Well, back into it, and that is the Stanley Buck and Shoot and the Bass Pro Shops bull rider Luke Snyder from Raymore, Missouri. And Cougar from Nacarado Buck and Bulls. And lots of things still left to go. Marco Aguchi, by the way, will be our PBR bonus bull rider tonight. 
virtue of his win last weekend in Tacoma. He will get an opportunity to pick up some bonus points. That ride will happen a little bit later on. Right now, all eyes on Luke Snyder, the 30-year-old veteran. Boys, we talk about the last cowboy uh, standing coming up in Las Vegas. Here's the guy that won the very first PBR's last cowboy standing in Las Vegas. Luke Snyder, 11th right now in the points race. See the bull right there, Cougar from Nacarado Bucking Bulls and Luke Snyder. That bull really had a very good day. Luke came close, took a little bit of a shot there, and ooh, right on the helmet. Yeah, you see our Paps Blue Ribbon bull score come up there, and you could almost see that one coming as he got rocked back on the end of his arm. Good news is Luke is up on his feet and uh, back to the locker room. 43 and a half points of numbers for the bull. There's our Dickies Dura Bullfighters, and, and there's a shot at uh, Luke Snyder right now behind the chutes. Brandon, we're going to continue. Let's go to Eduardo Apreciado da Silva. Eduardo da Silva set now. Jack Daniels shoot. You're going to take a look at Wolfie, the name of the bull from Cindy Rosser to Fly and Sea Livestock. I've seen this bull ridden once. That was in Anaheim last year. We haven't seen a whole lot of him since. That, in fact, the three times on the Bill Ford Tough Series, that was the only known qualified ride on this bull. When you factor in the Touring Pro Division and the PBR's Bill Ford Tough Series, he's yep. been out 10 times ridden twice. Eduardo right now, the ninth-ranked bull rider in the world, quietly creeping up the ladder. That's well, been top 10 finishes. I mean, simply put, every opportunity that he has – he has capitalized on, and you are watching Eduardo Prep. And he has been uh, good, if not great, this season when given the opportunities. See our Paps Blue Ribbon Bull stick down in there. That bull leaning on him just a little bit, trying to get him to give a little bit more room to bring that leg up right next to that bull rope. Just let me have him. Man, Got and it is turning into a just battle Ooh. out there. He gets it done, though, takes a shot, pays the price, but gets the eight. How about that? 82 and a half for Eduardo, 82.5, the dismount. Highlight reel. Yeah, watch it one more time. Right here. Mm. We'll take it a quick break right now. And fans, don't forget to uh, visit the PBR Posse booth on the concourse now for your chance to win the ultimate fan experience with Gary Allen and PBR's last Cowboys standing. You can save 20% on select tickets for the toughest single elimination competition on earth with the PBR returns to the Manley Bay Event Center in Las Vegas for the last Cowboy Standing this May 10th and 11th. Lots of cool things happening. Make sure you get by the PBR Posse booth. Check it out. You could be the winner of the Ultimate Fan Experience with Gary Allen and the PBR's last Cowboy Standing. Yeah, get the tickets right now. And also want to remind, hey, it's not, man, let's look at the big screen. We're going to have a little fun with our friends from Stanley. <laughs> Ó, oh, agora que sou duas vezes campeão do mundo, isto funciona em mim. 
<laughs> Let me show you how this thing's supposed to work. Funciona em algo, funciona em mim. Yo, man, you broke it. No, bro. No, bro. You just took the batteries out. Yeah, man, you broke it. I don't know what no, you did bro. to it. Yeah. It's always worked before. Hey, hey, break it up, today. break it up. Let me see how this thing works. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. This thing worked just fine. Looks like to me you're gonna step up your game. Who wants to win a brand new pair, a set, a set, a set of Stanley tools? We're section 122. 122, 122. I need all the guys, just the guys in 122 to stand up. All right, guys, here's the deal. We're going to put the stud finder on the big screen, and then we're going to put that stud finder on you, and you're going to have to work it out a little bit, all right? Whoever's going to get a brand new set of Stanley tools. Cameras up and running. Ladies, you pick. You pick. No, that's not. That ain't going to do it. Two. Two. We're looking for three beeps and a solid tone. Go down. Go down to the right. No, keep going down across. Oh, yeah, the big dude. Give it. No. There you go. Get the Come big on. guy. Yeah. What is that move? What is that? You the cheese? Is that like the cheese grater? It's the fishing pole. He got oh, okay. it. He it's a fishing got pole. It. I got no Get him a toolbox. He is. He's about to get a brand new there toolbox. That guy knows his and way around a the toolbox. Stanley stud file. And a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> You're the man. There it is. Yes, sir. Congratulations, my good man. That's a Stanley yeah, stud. Stanley tools. That's uh, right. Wherever summer. you go, whatever you do, make something great. Some of those guys were going for Stanley tool of the night. Right. Hey, hey, Not hey, to be hey, had. Hey, hey, hey. I'm Stop sorry, I can't do it. Watch it. Watch it. Look at that guy. On right now, Jack right. Daniel shoot. What does T stand for? What? Texas Bear. Oh. <laughs> T, I thought you said G. Oh, sorry. No, he is from Texas. Do we have any Texans here with us tonight? There's always a few. Curveball, the name of the bull we're looking at. Flying you, Cindy Rosser, Bucket Bulls, Jordan Hupp trying to get it right. Number eight ranked bull rider in the world. Yeah. Talk to him, son. Oh. He's all right. How about that? Yeah. Jordan yeah. Hupp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan Hupp, Stephenville, Texas, Curveball. I know we're crazy. 84 and a half points. 84 and a half right there for Jordan Hupp. Eighth in the points. That is the man in the shoot and on the big screen, Top Pazabon, Merritt, Canada. Shot for all. The name of the ball for Fine You, Sydney Rosser. Here we go. You are kidding me. 776. And he was about to get a rerun. That bull, not a whole lot of fun. Just kind of throwing his head around there and got him just before the eight. Chunked him the change up and he bit on it. Yep. Ty Pazabon, 21 year old cowboy, on his way out and back to the locker room, and we continue. 
Canada. From one young Canadian, now we go to the top rated Canadian bull rider. Member of Team Jack Daniels way down inside of that Las Vegas buck and shoot. That is Aaron Roy. Anger management, Jerry Brown. Bucking bulls and that bull just squatting down on all four. Laying down in there. I tried so hard to let you go, but some kind of madness is swallowing me. And Aaron Roy is going to come up. You in a groove, buddy? Yeah, now, he, now he is. Yeah, we we never come around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little it's right here. It's right here. Listening to the sound of my tears. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous that the best of all the years have gone by. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit okay. nervous. Hey, something. I could make my my own words for sure. It. Turn around, bright eyes. Yo, VIP. Yeah. Let's kick, kick it. it. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back when the brand new and big. And Roy looks like he's ready to oh, twist the Toro Las Vegas shoot. Oh. Flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever yeah. stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal, light up a stage and wax a chump like a candle. Dance. There you go. Glad you got that one in. Aaron Roy, no score. Cody Lodstro, still the number one man right now on top. 88 and a half points. He is your leader. Hey, this heart-stopping action is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops for information regarding store location. <laughs> Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker. It's for you. Bushwhacker, this is JB. JD, who? JB Mooney. Who do you think? Oh, you're that skinny cowboy rode the Astro down there the other day. Circle T Ranch and Rodeo's back. Circle T Ranch, this is Gene. Hey, Mrs. Gene, this is Austin. How are you, Austin? Oh, pretty good, man. I was going to see Bass Tour was around. Yeah, why don't you try him on his cell phone? I think he's got a blue tooth on today. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Bye. J.B. Mooney has a new tattoo. Compliments of Bushwhacker. You may think you're the best bull in the world, but I think I'm the best bull rider in the world. And I'm going to give you an attitude adjustment. You'll find out come time for Vegas. You're all mine. <laughs> Ah, my friend Rex's son. Hey, buddy. I heard everybody been talking smack to you. I figured I'd holler at you see if we can work out a little deal. Hey, Bushwhacker. Why'd you hang up on JB? He just hung up on me. What kind of deal, man? Maybe you be nice to me, I'll be nice to you, and see if we can rack up a 90-point ride. Both make money. What can you do for me? I can probably get your girlfriend brought in. You know, maybe an extra bell of hay, a little scratch on the back, a little spray off with the water hose, because I know it's hot. Ah, 
the Mandalay Bay. I'd probably get you hooked up with a suite or something. A 1-800 ring a bull. You have a collect call from Badron de Oliveira. Well, I accept the charges, thank you. Hello? Bushwhacker. This is Badaron de Oliveira. Badaron de Oliveira? Oh, yeah, I, I want to tell you. You in good bull. This is the world number one against the world's best bucking ball. And the bull wins. Yeah, yeah, you bucked me off a couple times. Room service? I only check on. Oh, man, you know I can get you that room service. You know I like watching movies. I'm sure you do too. Yes. Maybe some old John Wayne flicks? You know I'll hook you up. I ain't like Bushwhacker. He ain't working no deals. Listen, I cut a deal with that skinny cowboy for a 93.5. Asteroid has been conquered. J.B. Mooney just slayed a dragon. But this is the PBR I World Finals. Right and we got the bear. Yeah, hey, I'm look, going man. for world champion Buck. Striking distance, he just he's right in there. Let's make the lap. Right here. Making the lap. We want to see Mike Lee run. Me too. Yeah, he saw that one come and felt it, knew it. He had to feel no good. Score. Yeah, he, he had to think. That was yeah. going to be the one. Yeah, absolutely. Mike Lee, no score for the world champion. <laughs> JB Mooney fans, where are you? The man from North Carolina's got a bull they call Rabies. MGS Bucket Bulls bringing the bull, making his debut. He was thinking, man, he's going to turn back right there into my hand. That bull decided, nope, I like the out gate better. I mean, it was right about here. You think JB's going, okay. Not, not going to happen today. 6.63 seconds, JB Mooney. He needs a little bit of pick-me-up right now, Fresno. A little bit of pick-me-up. Don't forget, we still got the PBR bonus bull coming up, Marco Aguchi. You don't want to miss that. Be dealing with Sancho. We'll talk about the money, the points. Big moment coming up here in a bit, but right now, you are looking at a world champion. Not once, but twice. He's got two gold buckles and $3.3 million. In the earnings category, Silvano Alves, and he's got a bull better yet named Red Man from 5S Ranch that he's ridden twice before. And he just went to work. I'm talking about to the woodshed. Well, you said it the third time he has been on that bull in the big time bull ride right into his hand. That is the MO with this bull. Silvano Alves knew it. Numbers, how about 88 and a quarter points? 88 and a quarter. The Yeti Cooler score up there, 88 and a quarter, and that puts him a quarter of a point 
behind Cody Lostro, who is still in that number one position at the Table Mountain Casino Invitational. But it is Shane Proctor time, Mooresville, North Carolina, by way of Grand Coulee, Washington. The bull from Diamond G, they call the Magic. <laughs> Here will be an interesting scenario yes. we're about to watch play out. They stopped the clock at 1.8 seconds. 1.8, the clock was stopped. Now, he may be going to have them review yeah, and take a I look, but so. I think they may have stopped the clock because when that bull broke the plane. Okay, we're getting but the. I'm uh, being told, go yeah. ahead. No, well, we're getting the indication he, he is, he did get a qualified ride. Eight seconds, he will receive a score. So Shane Proctor, knowing how important it is, he is the number one ranked bull rider in the world. And Shane Proctor awaiting one more set of numbers for him. 83 and a half points, 83 and a half. The numbers for Shane Proctor, obviously not going to take over the lead, but hey, every point is going to count, and uh, Shane Proctor's got them. Nicely done. Flinto. Hey, so before our big bonus bull here, you guys know every city. It, I never fail, whether we're in California or New York or Missouri or Florida. Doesn't matter. Every night, every city of our little tour, I pick, I honor, I award. My Cooper tires, and Clint's going to help me. My what? My Cooper, Cooper tires. tires. Fan, Fan of, of the, the night. night. That's right. This year, every night, from Montana Silversmiths, the real deal PBR, Cooper Tires, Fan of the Night Buckle. Oh, can a brother get a, ooh. Oh, so many great fans. So many options. I'd like to nominate all of you. One thing about it, if I'm just noticing you right now, you're probably not going to win. Tonight, because I'm intrigued. Yes, I had Andrew that won in Anaheim. He's dressed like me. Great job. No, Justin, the Latin Justin Bieber, you already won something. Can you deny a flint with pigtails? Can you deny it? Yeah, that's right. If you dress like me, your odds go way up. Come here, girl. I'm assuming you're a girl. Hi, come here. So you have a sign that says, let's show the camera. Okay, it says Flint's number one fan. Turn it around. What's the other side say? Look under my hat. Is this some sort of magic trick? Is it? Let's see. Okay, ready? Go ahead. I want to see it. Did I give you that hat? Oh! Let's see. What's under the hat? Marry? No, you got, Marry me? Oh, my God. I would have never picked you as fan of the night. So, marry, you want me to marry you? Okay, let me tell you something. I have one wife at home, and Lord knows I do not need a second. <laughs> I can't remember your name. What's your name? Jean. Jean. You were like in Anaheim, right? You caught my hat in Anaheim. I so listen, you LA. drove up here from L.A. just to come here four, ooh, four hours. We drive that far to the airport in Montana. That's not a big deal. So listen, she wants to donate the hat. She has my autographed hat from Anaheim. She wants to donate it to the Rider Relief Fund. There you go. Okay, I'll take, uh, where's somebody? I'll send somebody over. I'll bring it down. Okay, listen, yeah, because we'll you're going to do that, of. I'll trade you. You're my fan of the night. You get the Montana Silversmiths buckle, oh, Gene. Oh, yeah, give me some sugar. Oh, no, yeah, awkward. There you go. <laughs> uh, give it up. Cooper Tires, fan of the night. I'll take care of it. Well, folks, we've been talking about it. The PBR's bonus bull big time moment. Take a look at your big screen. It's only eight seconds. One ride, one man, one bull. 
and eight seconds. Last week, the world's best went to battle, and when the dust settled, there was only one man standing. Tonight, that champion will be rewarded. Rewarded with one more chance to capture glory, and one more chance to get closer to a million dollars. And eight seconds is all it takes. It's the PBR's bonus pool. Since the dawn of time, only the strongest survived. I will not be forgotten. This is my time to shine. I've got the stars to prove that only the strong survive. I'm not afraid of dying. Everyone has a time. Well, well folks, here we go. The Las Vegas fucking shoots. And the PBR's bonus bull, Marco Aguchi. Winning in Tacoma, Washington last weekend for the second event win of the season. Why is he getting on another bull tonight? Because he was a winner last week. So that carries over to a bonus round matchup. Clint, correct me if I'm wrong, but this should be worth 200 points if he rides the bull plus the rider's score. And why is that huge? Well, because points are king in the PBR. That's how you win a world title. He's only 300 points back right now from being the number one ranked bull rider in the world. He placed in the long round. The bonus points will be huge for him right here. Well, this is the bull from Circle T and 3B Bucking Bulls called Sancho. A bull that that young man got on in San Antonio, Texas last August. And this bull bucked him off. He has only been ridden three times out of 36 professional outs in the PBR. Well, I know Marco cannot like the way that we say he's kind of squatted in the back end right there. He wants him to stand up straight, get square. If that bull leaves out of there and rocks him on the back of the end of his arm. Seal the deal. Oh boy, Marco Gucci. I mean, I know we've got a long ways to go before we get to Las Vegas to crown that uh, world champion, but uh, man, that one's going to sting. Our Pat Flew Ribbon Bulls score 44 and a half and an opportunity to say thank you to the man on the back of the horse, your PBR safety man, Mr. Julio Marino. Your Dickie Stura Bullfighters, Frank Newsom, Shorty Gorham, and Jesse Byrne. He's magically delicious. Commander Cooper, Flint, Flint Rasmussen. Thank you, buddy. Oh, but tonight, round one of the Table Mountain Casino Invitational. The round one win will go to a PBR world champion. And you are looking at him with a score of 88 and a half points. He makes his way to the Kawasaki Shark Cage. The winner of round one of the Table Mountain Casino Invitational is Cody Lostro. Oh, nicely done tonight, and that's gonna wrap things up for round number one. A 12 qualified round.